running away from the big questions is not going to bring anything. This is Scramble from Emotionless Crypto Trading, and today we're going to handle the most important question for the last weeks, months, and of course year. Where is the bottom of Bitcoin? Trying to gather as much information as possible in this video and share with you technical analysis which should help you. On the other side, I have a quick announcement to do on a contest organized by Coin Super Exchange. Just going to refresh you to share with you. This is having a uh, trading volume for the last 24 hours of $106 million. Coin Super Exchange can be found on coinmarketcap.com as well. Now, the details of the exchange and all the links will be included in the description area. An exchange uh, which is handling a uh, agreement with Negazen cryptocurrency that is having a contest giving out Lamborghini and other gifts starting from December 3rd until December 17th. Right, so more details can be found down in all the links that I'm going to provide you in the description area. This is the medium post where everything is explained, and there is a great um, image here sharing you the prizes that you can find inside the uh, contest. We've got here the Coin Super Exchange Twitter page, which is also talking about the contest. We have the announcement which link is going to be included in the description area that is telling you how to participate in the contest as well as there is the link to the official page of the Nagazani cryptocurrency which is a Japanese project that is holding in a partnership with CoinSuper this type of contest right so that being said everything is going to be down in the description area in order to see more details about it great uh, let's just move towards and find out what is happening in the crypto space to address the big question we're talking about. Because the most important details are always between the lines. What does that mean? Well, we would have to search and research very carefully. A research like that involves efforts. And you know how people is open in putting in efforts, which is the biggest and the most difficult thing I would ever seen when it comes down to the research part. I've worked with a lot of the students and I've seen that the part they are the most lazy is the research. Now, that's what we have to do. We have to get better at researching. We have to put in more time. And of course, the time we spend we needs to be quality time on the most important facts. Always the truth when we talk about great and big things is between the lines and we would have to research extremely carefully on realizing the content between the lines great so before we get started the market cap is 129 billion dollars 14 billion 24 hours volume 53.8 btc dominance as raw data going towards one of the things i like to present you is uh, the chart which is right here and this one is speaking on Bitcoin price reactions and movements at the time of the previous cycle that is considered for 2013 right so take a look at that it's our all-time high position here early December 2013 we were up to $1,000 early December this is the current chart which is of the last all-time high and cycle we were high in December once again middle of December $20,000 but the big question is why is it once again December good we're gonna put that question on the side for now and we're gonna continue with the story so what happens next is I can see right here uh, the latest bottom is found on January 2015 so that means I like to consider from December 2013 to put in a year and see where the market was in December 2014 
the market was uh, very close. It was 370 bucks and the bottom was sitting around $220. So you can do your calculations there. There's still another, what was that, 35 to 40% decrease in the price. What's happening here is we're one year away. And of course, one year away from the all-time high position of the last cycle. December 2017, December 2018, we're right there. So are we following the same path? Which means to have another run down the way until we're going to hit into the accumulation stage, which used to come between February and it's going till August. That is the last bottom inside the accumulation stage. And after August, late 2019, second part 2019, is this going to be the best time for us in order to re-establish an entry into the recovery phase? I'm putting out this as a question and of course not as a prediction because today's topic is extremely subjective extremely uh, take a look at that one year difference there's still the market which is in a bearish mood there's still the space suffering and we still have difficulties reacting positively of course we're going to look at the charts closely. We will see how once again in the last days we established lower highs. The market is suffering continuously and whenever hits a new bottom has a little recovery phase. But unfortunately the top of that recovery phase is always lower than the previous top which is definitely not helping us at all to establish higher bottoms without breaking below our support lines that are keeping the structures we're trading in. So this is the big drama. This is the big deal. It is difficult to compare the chart of 2013 to the one of 2017, 18, 19, because the conditions have changed and this is something a lot of you know you know there is the other response as well in regards to the charts and the history that used to repeat a lot of the times because it's backed up by technical details that are not really considering the fundamentals of people's emotions right so they do react based on data so if that's what the data tells you, that's what you have to do. And that's what we'd have to consider. That is the history that we're having down here. So I'd like to consider looking at this 2013 chart of previous cycle. The previous of the previous one. Good. 2013 all-time high. I like to consider uh, that we needed about two years to get back more than two years, two years and two months to get back. Actually, yep, yeah, three years and two months to get back to our all-time high position. If the same is going to repeat, which is very difficult, and I'm not considering aiming for the same, because the speed have changed. And we've got a different story, a way different market. We've got futures, which is changing all the things down the road, but that's already a different story and a different subject. Right, so three years. If we would put down the same calculations, which are less probably to happen, it would mean from 2017 to be uh, late 2020, early 2021, for the time 
of hitting twenty thousand dollars for the BTC. Until that, to be in a stage of a slow but steady growth. That's what we had in two thousand thirteen. So the biggest question is: Is that data enough for us to consider as a stone of fundamental and structure? and foundation of the new cycle is that one of our stones of the foundation of the new cycle this is the big question i'm trying to put out and we're looking out for responses doing research every day on the other side we've got a great representation here which is pretty accurate and it says that we're very close as we're in a despair phase right and we're very close to the fact that hitting the bottom of this specific general cycle movement with a bunch of phases uh, take off for sell off media attention enthusiasm and all of things going down the way but it seems right now we're in the despair phase which is considered when the market is going below the mean level right so when that goes and flies below that which is of course a level that is considered below 3700 3600 when we're going below that it's the despair phase so we have the possibility to come back just like that but again this is kind of looking something like this this phase here this was the time of the despair and this specific chart is the 2013 intention. This pair accumulation, and then we were back in the market. This is where the smart money comes in. Oops, that's me. Here's smart money. That is the phase that is coming after this pair right so look at that which is appearing here in case of 2013 in case of 2017 18 it is difficult to lay down a smart money phase as long as there is still space of this pair phase and i like to consider another detail here uh looking at the price there was appearing here below the blowout we were 128 bucks and our bottom was double 220 210 215 double then the price before we took off in 2013 so putting down that kind of calculation on today's chart it's going to tell us the price is, is somewhere around two thousand five hundred dollars as bottom if we use the same technique and strategy right because this is the phase that was happening before the blowout this one right here that one and that one says clearly 1,300, 400, 500, 600, of course, very, very volatile at that time. On the other side, let's take a look at the difference from the bottom and the all-time high position. What was the difference in the price? We've got $1,100 for the Bitcoin all-time high position. And here the bottom is showing out as $200, which is 5.5x difference 5.5x says from twenty thousand dollars here very close to that to be below four thousand dollars we're already there so from this perspective from this calculation we're already very near to the bottom right so during this video what i'm trying to do is to come out with information from previous history because we always have to look left you know that means looking at the charts 
and saying, look left, it always leaves tracks. It always leaves data. That's what you have to do in order to find out what is going to happen in the future. That's what we're considering 2013 data. Oh, of course, conditions have changed. I do agree with all of you. Yes, they have changed. What kind of conditions have changed is important to talk about. But unfortunately, that would pull out on this video a conversation of 60 minutes, which I believe it would be too much. Maybe that's something they would have to cover in other videos. Uh, great. So amazing news out there today from Nasdaq. Bitcoin futures have been confirmed, which is awesome. It is even more than that. It is purely awesome. Bitcoin future confirmed for Nasdaq. We have put a hell of a lot of money and energy into delivering the ability to do this. And we have been all over it for a long time. Way before the market went into turmoil. And that will not affect the timing of this in any way. No, period. We're doing this no matter what. Uh, this is what their officials are saying, of course. And let me tell you what is the conclusion out of this. It is all left for the exchanges, you know. All that's left for the exchanges is the final confirmation of the CFTC, which is the United States Commodity Futures Trading Commission. This would also be the case with other players who are currently looking to launch their Bitcoin futures too. In the case of Banek partnering with SolidX for a psychical backed Bitcoin exchange traded fund, the ETF, they are simply waiting on the US Securities and Exchange Commission called SEC for approval. Right? So we're like a volcano about to explode. Probably this news are gonna come out when we're into the accumulation phase, phase, the one I was talking about, right? And then after that, look at that, great news. Let me just clear up this thing very, very quickly and I'll tell you where the great news are, should come out. Here, in my opinion, of course. But I guess you would agree with me, here. This is the time I like to see the great news. Do you know what the majority of people will say? They say, oh, pretty bad. Those news did not really affect the market. We didn't done anything. We're not really doing too much. We're just moving sideways overall, and that's pretty bad, you know. That's. But that's not the truth, because this is the time the smart money comes into. And you have to consider that when the environment is fully bearish, that's the time you definitely need to get into and buy the cryptos. Look at the alts. Let's just pick one alt here. And we're going to pick one which is huge. We're not going to pick one that involves extremely high risk. We're going to pick one which includes medium risk. NEO. Our buddy right here, NEO. It says that it's $7.6, pretty poor, but it says that at once it was 161. Do you know what that means? That means about 25x. $10,000 in NEO today, when the market is back to all-time high position, and trust me, cryptocurrencies like NEO have that ability to do it. Now, when the market is there, do you know what happens? From 20 sorry, for $10,000, you have $25,000. But what about a new cycle which needs to establish itself? It is not enough for us to reach the all-time high position as it wasn't when we did it with the all-time high of 2013. Did we stop there? No, we continued and we definitely did. So that's probably a percentage of 80 percent that we're going to continue towards above twenty thousand dollars and twenty percent that we're going to get stuck there once again so here's the question where is neo going to stop 
because the last all-time high was at $160. Where is this thing going to stop? The last, the previous of the previous all-time high of BTC was at $1,000. Then it stopped at 20x, $20,000. Of course, multiplying always with 20x is not a realistic vision at all. Extremely subjective, once again, on what should be our data to multiply with. Very hard to say that. 20x, 15, 10x, impossible to say that. But however, it is going to be one. That is the only thing we could know. And you know why I'm here on YouTube? You know why I didn't give up during this month? Because I have something to prove, not just to speak out. I want to create a spirit, a mentality of a successful people, of a trader, which isn't just purely speculating the market and then rushing away with zero money or with a bunch of money. I'm not going to exclude any of these options because they're possible. So I'm not looking for speculators here. I'm looking for people that are looking to develop this world and participate by long-term investments, active trading in the economy of cryptocurrency and, of course, supporting blockchain projects. If you remember the spreadsheet with the ICO, that's something we're going to get back. We have more than 35,000 people accessing that spreadsheet. They have access to it. They're looking at the ICOs and they're definitely looking after new projects. But today, during this type of market, the ICOs are suffering as well. So we have slowed down a little bit with the ICO spreadsheet. But I want to get back on that, of course, in the near future. We just need a little breath from the market. Well, we need, you know, the conditions in order to do a specific type of content, right? So don't be angry at me because I do this on purpose as we need the conditions and I'm waiting the acceptancy from the market in order to do that, right? So here's it once again, what we have done in the last days. If you remember my last BTC video is we were somewhere around here where I'm encircling it right now. That's where we were. And I told you we're about to break out of a triangle. The triangle was this with a flat top. And I told you there's a high possibility to break out on a bullish way, but there's also a probability to break below that in a bearish way. What we care about is to find out which of these two circles, yellow circles, are we going to touch first? And we have touched the one that is called the long-term continuation of the bearish market circle. That's what we have done. We have crashed another time, you know, little crashes while we're trying to recover. But once again, our recovery is not powerful enough and it's kept exactly on the resistance line of the current little channel. Of course, there is another detail here, which I've told you already, the lower high, which is a very, very easy tool that needs to be used by every single person out there. Higher lows, lower highs, higher bottoms, lower bottoms. Crucial details. This points are giving you the ability to draw specific lines that will tell you when to entry and when to exit. If you're looking to find out and learn how to trade from A to Z, I've got a coaching program one-on-one. -on -one. You're doing it only with me live where I can teach you how to do this full-time day trading, swing trading, and long-term trading. We're doing all of them. Right, so that's pretty much all about in today's video presentation. Hopefully this isn't too long. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you feel you gotta do. Once again, I appreciate my audience. I love you all. And you know what? 
are we going to talk soon?